Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share all the pans and markers that I use in my Hobonichi. I basically am 100% on Tomo River paper, uh, unless we're talking about school. So most of my pans, actually all of the ones that I have that are within reach, are actually Tomo River paper friendly. I also want to share the inks I use in my um, fountain pens and basically just give you uh, a little bit of a rundown of what you can can use in the Hobonichi. So I figured I would um, do this. I would use the Hobonichi Cousin. Like I have all these back pages that I don't really use. Here, let's do it in my hundreds actually. That's gonna be fun. So a lot of those I use to write or to draw and um, most of them, hopefully all of them, I'll find on Amazon and put it in my pen list that I have going. So let's see, first of all, let's go with the stuff that I use really, really uh, frequently. There's my Muji pen. Um, this writes really, really nice. Now, when you're new to Tumo River paper, a lot of the questions are gonna be like, why? Um, does it smudge and how much does it smudge everything is going to smudge a little bit like there is no secret like if you go like this and it's going to smudge but you wait a little bit and you should be fine see so most of them are going to be like this even the pigma micron which is super fast drying and um the zebra uh, the really thin zebras and um the pilot what are they called the pilot uh juice up zero four those are really thin and they do dry pretty fast but still you can't just expect on tomo river paper for things to dry the same way as they dry on other papers um the pigma micron is a classic it's archival ink i use it to draw i like it because there's different sizes i just rebought a new pack and for example, I use this one, which is a little bit thicker to either retrace my drawings after I'm done drawing or to write uh, certain things. So this is my self-love journal. Can I show you something in here? No. Let's set up a page then. Okay, this is my self-love journal and I've been using these um st this stencil which i can't remember where i got it from but it's um fairly um, easy to find stencils on amazon if i find something similar i'll put it up and i basically have several several sections that i use within a page of my cousin oh and i'm very not careful with my stencils i don't care if it gets dirty or whatever as long as i can use them um so i wanted to show you how thick it can be the way I've been using my pages and I just finally figured it out is basically here I have self-love affirmation the goals for the day I have a little graphic on what I'm trying to manifest even though the monthly have basically manifestation sentence every day and then on here how I feel and I'll write it this way and then recap of the day in a positive way but so I use the pigma micron to do all these and then a lot of the times I will color them either with the jelly rolls or the uni posca pens and I'll show you that because that's really interesting if you like to do a little bit of colors let me show you I have already next week set up for my gratitude in the weeks I used, in this I used a Posca and I used two different colors and then I had traced them originally with the stencil with the Prima Micron and I traced them again with the Posca. So, and I will go over these again. I'm just trying to kind of show you um, how much I use these basically. So let's go back. So the Muji, this is the Pigma. One of the classics that everyone uses is the midliner. I'm not really going in order, by the way, because 
I'm just going with those. Those are always on my desk because I literally use them every day. This I've been using, it's a Zebra Sarasa. I have a whole video on the Zebra pen. Uh, it's one of my most viewed video, I think. And it those are, it's a great line. You can't really go wrong. I think I got this multi-pen from Jet Pens and then uh, it also comes with the mechanical pencil. So this is an uh, eraser. I actually just lost the top, but this is the midliner. And this is obviously the Zebra Sarasa. Now, um, let me show you. The Zebra can come with this. I have the vintage color, regular colors, um, the dry up, what else? And it's another regular color. Um, I, they even come with the white, although I've never actually been able to use that. But there's a few different colors you can come with. And in fact, when I started drawing originally in my weeks, which was supposed to be just a planner, I started just doodling with um, the zebras. You know, they're very, um, there's so many colors. The vintage ones are my favorite. This is so pretty. Uh, and this is a Sarasa Nano which I'm gravitating towards lately. And those dry really, really fast too. Um, and these are just, I think this is almost the same color. These I haven't used in a long time. In fact, I'm surprised they're still working so well. Yeah, not so well. This one might be empty. Yeah, blue black is one of my favorite colors. Another pen that I use quite a bit for um, my weeks and mainly now these, the zebras and these I use for the monthly, I like to have some color, are these uh, Papermate Flare, and I have the Ultra Fine and the Medium. Um, I like to use the Medium more to outline, not necessarily for the monthly view in the weeks, because that's kind of, um, I have a very slappy handwriting, so if I used a thicker one, it wouldn't work, but this is the Papermate Flare. And this, this dries really fast, did you see? I mean, you can see from close up, there's a little bit, but there's still, the thinner the pan, the faster it's gonna dry. I mean, there's no, it's pretty much a given. Oh, this is one of the vintage zebra. I love this color. I actually lost a couple and there's some, there's a cat hair on it. Yeah, and this one might be empty. I love these and I need to repurchase the pack. Um, this, I just discovered not long ago there the um, Juice Up 04 by Pilot. And I think they're great. Pilot. They're great. Also, see, same as the other ones, and it's because it's really thin. Those are really, really thin. Again, the thinner, the better if you're going to go with Tomorrow River paper and you don't want to have to either have a blotting paper. I usually have one. Even if I um, it's just a white paper, I just put it and then close it so that I don't have to worry about it. Oh, this is a brand new one. I use this pen in my five year and it's the Energel Klena. I have it in two sizes. This one is the 0.4 and I think I have it in a 0.3 as well in another one. And those are great. I have really, really bad handwriting and this keeps me honest, I'll just say that. I actually saw um, Helen, uh, the owner of the Coffee Monsters Co., if you follow her, she uses those a lot in her Bonichi Cousin, so I try them, and when I got it, I realized it looks so good with the five-year, and really, I've been loving it so much. It's the first time I'm so consistent in my five-year journal with a specific pen. Really love it, really, really recommend it. So these are the ones that I, pretty much use all the time, uh, every day. Same with the jelly roll. I love sparkle, as always, jelly roll. Do you see how beautiful that is? And it's Sakura. Um, Sakura. Can you see how pretty it is? I'm not sure you can see. It is so beautiful. I love, love, love these. Um, sparkle I often will use that to fill in um, whatever lettering I do or the numbers 
all that and it just gives it a really beautiful look and you can use two different colors and then either smudge it or just leave it like this and it looks really good it looks very similar to what i just showed you same with these uni plastic pen i'll show you these are the glittery ones the one with the dark and these are the normal ones i'm just going to make sure it's activated yeah And see, those are, I don't know if I would call it glittery or shimmer, um, but I think it's more like shimmer. You saw it um, in the example I showed you, but those are fantastic and really beautiful. I'm going to show you the back. This is all of them, right? And I'm not very precious with anything. Um, these are the ones I use here. Let me see what else I have here. This is all the same. I just have a lot of the same in different colors. And then I got um, these Z Clean Color Dot and Metallic. I'll just write. And I don't know if you can tell, but they're very nice too. And they have the dots. That's what I was using. Doink! For it. I got those um, fake ones. I'll show you. Uh, they're Ohuhu. <laughs> That is the name. Let me get a darker color so I can write better. And oh hoo hoo on Amazon. And they work really good, you know, especially if you're buying them just to make dots. It just felt like something that wasn't really necessary, really. So I bought these and for how much I use them, it's perfect. I'm glad I didn't spend too much money. Um, other markers that are great are the uh, Zclean Real Color Brush. I use those to um, color a lot and you can use it for lettering as well as well see clean because um, it's a soft tip love those um, another one that I don't use as much so the reason I love using the Z clean when I color is that they are water-based so you can always use a water brush in fact I should have one that far away yep you can always use one of those water brushes and you know play with the color or blend it into another color if you want the fabric castell are also a great um, marker except um, the blending is very limited um, but it is um, waterproof so once I sometimes use these colors and I have very few of them but for example if I'm drawing and I have hair and I put the hair first then I don't have to worry about using um, this water base because this will dry up and completely stay I don't like it's not going to blend into the face or anything so I like having some of those but those are quite pricey in my opinion so the Z Clean color brush, although they do last really long. I've had these for a long time and I just replace one by one. They It comes with um, a blending brush and I often replace that, but I also just use the water brush that I showed you and that's fine. Uh, another type of markers that's quite um, popular and that you can use to either color or do lettering with are the Tombow. Um, Um, the only thing that I would say about these, they're great, I love them, is just the size. If you have, um, if you're not in the market to buy another pouch, just know that you'll have to buy a very large, um, long pouch when you have Tombos. So same thing. I think um, a lot of people use these to letter. I have quite a few colors of these as well. And then I wanted to show you the inks because that's it. That's pretty much it as far as what I use. I am, I've tried a bunch, but those are the ones that I've stayed throughout the year. Of course, it's the Hobonichi pen that comes with it. But to be honest, like I have so many of those, I usually use the black and then, <laughs> then I don't replace it. You can't find um, replacement for it for the inks on uh, a jet pen and I'm sure other stores I just you know I don't love them enough to do it so I don't the inks that I use quite a bit are the shimmering seas from diamine I have uh, shimmering seas and cocoa shimmer and you can see the gold here 
see so you have to shake it so it's kind of a funny thing because every time before you write you have to shake your fountain pen a little bit so that um, the gold gets swimming a little bit and so when you write you can see it it is really truly beautiful to see it i have noticed or in my opinion and maybe it's the bottle i got this one has a little bit less shimmer than the coco shimmer the coco shimmer is really really strong um, another one i have used is the golden brown by diamine honestly diamond's been my go-to they're in my opinion the best but uh, for archival ink, a lot of people like to use diatrementis and it's very good as well. To be honest, when I use fountain pens, I usually don't use like full black, so I don't use it. But if you wanted to draw with the fountain pen, I would recommend this one because once it's dry, it is waterproof. I have other colors that I've tried. This one, uh, I would say Herbin, I don't know how you would say it. Um, I got, I think, jet pens. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. And then this color, I just broke the cap. Lavender Black by Platinum is a beautiful, beautiful color. Alicia at Adventure Denali had sent me a sample. And <laughs> I loved it so much, I ended up buying the whole bottle quite a while ago. So, yeah, those are all the inks I use. But to be Honest, like lately I've been using for my Pilot Vanishing Point, I've just been using cartridge from Pilot. Like I just buy the blue black and I'm happy with that because I use my fountain pens to write and I don't have to worry about whether or not it's waterproof or anything. That works perfect for me. Um, but these are pretty much my go-to for um, any pens. When I color, watercolor works really beautifully on Tomo River paper. Um, however, if you are used to doing watercolor, you're going to see a huge difference because usually on watercolor paper, it gets absorbed. On this, it kind of sits up. So every time you put another layer, you're kind of reactivating. So it's a little bit of a learning curve and a different technique when you're uh, coloring on, to, on Tomo River paper. I've been uh, really gravitating toward these... Um, Faber, oh no, yeah, is it Faber Castell? Yeah, Faber Castell watercolor pencils. I like the fact that I can um, shade it and do all the work and then put the water in. And then if I'm not happy with that, I can always wait till it dries and add more color. So that just, um, that works for me. I also have watercolor pens that I use uh, quite a bit. And as you see, like I have certain colors that are my go-to in this pouch and that is what I use when I color lately. Um, but I go through phases. I've also used acrylics on uh, Tomo River Paper and it works great. It will make the page much heavier than, you know, um, normal, but I actually kind of love the look of it and the feel of it. I just haven't done that this year, but last year, or was it the year before? Quite a bit, and I really enjoyed it. But that's it, I just wanted to show you some go-tos. I see that happening a lot in um, on Facebook, where people ask what pen are you using, and those are it. Oh, and I wanted to mention the acrylograph from Archer and Olives work really goodness. But those work really well as well on the Tomo River paper. Oh, here we go. Um, I just want to make sure I write it right. Acrylograph and poof, which did technically acrylic pen. So I guess I only have the pink left. That's good to know. And that sums up all the stuff I use daily, which once I sat down to do it, you realize it's not that many. It's just that I have quite a bit of uh, options in each category. Basically, I have a lot of colors for the zebras. Um, although most of them are empty because I do use them quite a bit and same with pretty much everything. The Muji, I only use the black. It's probably the only, the Pigma and the Muji are the ones that are like, I'm okay with it being completely black. Although the Muji is not good for drawing, it does um, activate with water, see? Well, the Pigma shouldn't, well, and now my brush is dirty. See, the Pigma does not. So, just 
just FYI, if you want to draw, I would do Pegma Micron or the Uni Pin Pen as well works really well. Any archival ink that is used by illustrators, you will notice work very well. So I said I was going to stop this video like 10 minutes ago, so I am done. I hope this helps. And if you're still here, thanks for watching. Bye bye.